Welcome to our channel. This video is for educational purposes only. The information presented is in no way intended to diagnose or prescribe. If you have specific health concern, please contact your healthcare professional. Hello. Hope everything is well. Today, we'll talk about yoga so watch until the end of the video. I have many friends in my circle who have practiced yoga seriously for decades without practicing any yoga poses. My story is somewhat similar. I am always curious about how a person discovered yoga, meditation, and inner limb of yoga. Many years ago I meditated and played with a yoga meditation group. I use the word, play, because even though meditation is seen as serious, we chose fun and fulfilling activities that morphed us into a service community. The experience was very fulfilling mentally and spiritually and we never practiced yoga poses as a group. In those youthful days we sat cross-legged on the floor easily and comfortably. So let me correct that statement about not practicing yoga poses as a group. That ability to sit still on the floor and to stand upright and still I consider not one but two yoga poses. One activity the group embraced was the generation of inspirational thoughts, big ideas, or provoking questions. Each day a new thought was written on a blackboard outside the meditation center and many stopped to imbibe drops of inspiration. Recently a fellow meditator recalled her story about starting yoga, sharing, I was feeling a loss, that something was missing in my life. I passed the virtue board each day, read it and it gave comfort, food for thought. She revealed that this was when she started analyzing life instead of just existing day to day. She began to travel that route to work just to, read a board a stranger put out. Curiosity led her to the meditation center. That visit started her journey with meditation and strangers became her friends. A community. The meditator, a promising therapeutic yoga teacher. What would make a meditator with little or no experience with poses a good candidate to teach yoga for wellness? Although there are many benefits I will highlight three that lead me to this conclusion more receptive mind. This means having an increased ability to focus and concentrate. What a fertile environment for learning. Less reactivity. Another valuable jewel in the jewelry box of the meditator is the ability to put some distance between herself and an emotion. She is less reactive to situations and people. This power can be seen as the ability to accept uncomfortable states without reacting automatically. That's benefit too less stressed from time to time situations that create stress pop up in a learning group someone with a more reactive nervous system experiences its fight flight freeze response more often and anxiety and depression learning requires receptivity benefit number three is the experience of less stress and more receptivity with a state of readiness and a willingness to learn and teach basic poses, in my opinion a meditator is indeed eligible to undertake therapeutic yoga teacher training. Heather Greaves is an avid yoga student, yoga therapist and the owner of Body Therapies Yoga Training. She facilitates mini yoga and meditation retreats and workshops in Ontario and Barbados and has been helping yoga enthusiasts learn to teach therapeutic yoga in a certified program. Heather is available for online mentoring group and one-on-one. -on -one. For more yoga tips or to sign up for our monthly newsletter, please visit us in the link in the description box below. That ends our video for this time. Watch our other videos about general health and overall wellness. Please like, follow, subscribe, and click the notification button on our channel for our other videos. Stay safe and see you again soon.